So you can overnight in Nairobi and then in the morning be ready to start your exciting safari, whether, whether that be um, one of the closest locations is the Masai Mara, um, world famous national reserve, packed full of wildlife. You know, you see the, um, the wildebeest migration there at certain times of year, typically July through to October. Um, so you have almost 2 million, two million animals, wildebeest, um, gazelle, antelope, and they just flood the plains. They cross the Mara River, they move up into, into Kenya. And the game viewing there at that time of the year is, is spectacular, not to be missed. Um, um, so yeah, you, what, what you have in the Masai Mara is a lot of small tented camps. Um, you have some lodges as well. Uh, but really the only way, in my opinion, to see it is to stay, to sleep on the canvas, to, to stay in a, in a tented camp. Um, whether that's in the reserve itself or just to the northern boundary of the, of the reserve, you have private areas. And that really affords you a much more exclusive, um, uh, exclusive game viewing option not as busy as being in the National Reserve, but you can very easily go into the reserve for your, for your all day game drives. So yeah, a, a, a lot of options there in the Masai Mara and it, it's a must um, at any time of year, even during the, the green season or, the, or the, the rainy season, the wildlife is, the resident wildlife is fantastic all year round. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I would certainly put it on your list. If you're going to Kenya, Masai Mara is a must. Um, if you head north from the Masai Mara up through the, the beautiful Rift Valley Lakes, Lake Navasha, Lake Nakuru, great stopovers if you're interested in seeing some of the rarer wildlife, um, black rhinoceros, white rhinoceros, um, up, in, up in northern Kenya, some endemic species as well, um, flamingos on the lakes, and that backdrop of that, of that you know, that striking um, valley. So yeah, that, that's a really great area to stop off for a night or two. And the conservancies in that northern area and, and places like Lewa, um, uh, Loisaba, the, the, those conservancies, they're packed full of wildlife as well. Um, Lewa, I, I believe, is the only place where you can see both white and black rhino in Kenya. Um, Grevy zebra, you have um, species you won't see elsewhere in, in the country, Geronuk, little antelope that kind of stands on its back legs to, to nibble branches and, and feed. <clears throat> And of course, all the predators, you know, you'll see lion, uh, leopard, cheetah on the plains in the Masai Mara, a um, lot of jackal, uh, wild dog in certain areas. Um, so you really have everything. And then you have Mount Kenya, even further north, um, and, and some smaller game reserves in, in that area, seldom visited. But, you know, the, the key thing, one of the other great things about Samburu, are the tribes people, that, that culture up there, um, fantastic to, to experience that. The tribes people, the, the, the cattle herders in their bright red um, Maasai um, garments and, and the women with their jewelry and beads. Uh, and, and Kenya's a really child-friendly, family-friendly location. So kids are always welcome. A lot of the camps and lodges will take kids of all ages. Um, you may need to book a private vehicle, but a lot of them take kids from, from a very, very young age. And it's a great experience for a family. Um, you also have Amboseli National Park, which is on the border with Tanzania. Uh, that overlooks Mount Kilimanjaro, um, and at certain times of the day you can see the mountain, the snow-capped Mount Kilimanjaro, tallest mountain in Africa. Um, you can climb the mountain if you have time, usually a five to eight day trip, um, but that'll be in Tanzania, but um, you, you, get the, you get the views of the mountain. And in that area, in the national park around there, you get the huge, big tuskers, the big, the big old elephants there, uh, with their tusks almost touching the ground. One of the few places you can still see them now because there are not many left, uh, unfortunately. Um, yeah, Amboseli, well worth a visit. Good for cheetah. I've seen cheetah there on several occasions on on the on the open plains. It's kind of a flat, um, flat plain, so the best time to see it really, uh, I would say, is in the dry season, June to October. Uh, when the rains come, even the short rains in November, a lot of the animals disperse um, in, in, out, of, out, of, uh, out of sight really, especially the, the elephants, they disappear off into the bush because there's a lot more water around. So, so you will see them, but you just won't see those big herds um, just ambling around. Um, so yeah, Ke Kenya is, is a great destination. It has a beautiful coastline as well. Um, Diani Beach in the south is a great favorite of ours. Kinondo Kweto family um, 
owned and run property, very, very good. Lovely swimming pool, private stretch of beach, lovely kind of um, beach cottages. Uh, that, that's a real favorite of ours. And that, that will combine perfectly with a, a safari to any of those locations. And then you can fly across to the beach and then head back to Nairobi and, and leave. Um, we, we don't tend to do much up in Mombasa. It's quite a busy area, larger resort type hotels. Um, we, we tend to always go with the, the smaller personal family owned um, individual properties, you know, maybe eight to 10 rooms, that kind of thing. We're, we're, not, we're not an operator that will be booking 100 room hotels, um, all inclusive, that, that's, that's not really what we do. So yeah, Kenya is, is a must see destination. And um, if, you're, if you're out for your first safari, a lot of the documentaries are shot there. Um, especially in the Maasai Mara, um, Big Cat Diary, very famous documentary. It's located at Governor's Camp and it's, it's shot there um, and, and you, you can tick off everything there in a, in a kind of a, in a day, you know, the, the game viewing is, is so concentrated. Gosh, look at me sweating. I'm a bit of a lightweight. <laughs> Not used to this glorious Florida sunshine, although I should be, um, been here a year now. Anyway, yeah, so I just wanted to, to just go in a little bit uh, into each different destination we booked, talk to you about the countries. We'll go to Tanzania tomorrow um, and then we'll, we'll work our way down through Africa. So thank you so much for listening. If you like the videos, please let me know, um, post some comments uh, and, and subscribe to uh, the channel. Thank you.